playing the Winterreise of Schubert has been a long-held dream of mine, which really took shape and gripped hold of me during the pandemic. I was connected to the work of Peter Sparling, and he had made a series of films depicting the protagonist of the Winterreise in each song. Peter just interprets each song as a little mini drama. And I thought, this is just absolutely brilliant. I wonder if we can do this live. So that's really how the project got together. I started dancing when I was a violinist at Interlochen Arts Academy back in the late 60s. I took an introduction to dance class in 10th grade to get out of phys ed. I just became infatuated with this idea that my body could be a moving sculpture and that it could be a kind of a living architecture that would coincide with music. Having danced for many years under my mentor, Martha Graham, I really cut my teeth on how to craft movement and phrasing to express a heightened emotion. Necessity is the mother of invention. And as an aging dancer whose body could no longer do what it did 20, 30, 40 years ago, I was experiencing the diminishing of my abilities as a mover, or as, a, as a body. And I think by choosing video and by controlling the situations where I'm in front of the camera, I have more choice. I have more agency to continue to create. I have distilled to a more essential means of expressing through my physique, through my body. I think I depend much more on the intensity of gesture and on detail. A lot of the Winterreise is shot close up, so I'm really working with my face, with my back, with the muscles of my torso. Not necessarily making grand jetés or jumps in space, but really asking the camera and the audience to move in to a body that has been through the ringer. The theme of the Great Lakes Festival for 2022 is nature and the way that composers, artists have responded to nature and been inspired by nature. The Winterreise, particularly the text, fits that theme extremely well. The protagonist of the Winterreise, a, a man who has lost his love and goes on a journey through a winter landscape. In every song, some aspect of nature reflects his emotions or amplifies them. There's all sorts of imagery of the winter world that just amplifies his state of mind. The character, or the many characters that I depict in this, really come from the urgency and the pain, the angst, the heartbreak of, of the songs. They're in the lyric, they're in the music. I think Schubert, knowing that he was going to die, put some of that angst into the music, or maybe all of it. Schubert moves us towards romanticism, towards a more secular sense of the soul. The piano writing in, well, in, in, in all of Schubert's songs, but particularly in, in the Winterreise, is really evocative. The piano is really asked to set the mood for each song. What Schubert's really amazing at is evoking a sense of cold in his writing, just very cold and bare landscapes. Landscape to me is, I think, what winter was to Schubert for this song cycle. It was a setting that really highlighted the vulnerability of the soul wandering homeless out on a, on a winter day or winter evening. Where is this man leading to this figure in Winterreise? He ends almost full circle, he almost is, is back to some kind of infantile state as he listens to the hurdy-gurdy man playing this childlike, mournful tune. Has he just become totally undone? Has he lost his mind? Or 
und die Hunde knurren um den alten Mann. Und er lässt es gehen, alles wie es will. Tritt und seine Leier steht ihm nimmer still. Tritt und seine Leier steht ihm nimmer still. Wunderlicher Alter, soll ich mit dir gehen? Willst zu meinen Liedern deine Leier drehen?